On the morning of Thursday, August 22, 2019, a 30-year-old man was crushed to death by an elevator in his luxury high-rise apartment building as his unsuspecting neighbors witnessed the horrific accident. Sam Wasburn clawed desperately to escape the packed elevator as it plunged from the lobby into the darkness of the shaft below. Sam was pinned and crushed between the elevator car and the wall of the lobby hotel. The horrific scene took place at the 23-story Manhattan Promenade Tower on 3rd Avenue near East 25th Street and was captured on CCTV surveillance footage featured in this video. As one woman stands waiting, the elevator door opens into the lobby and a man wearing a backpack swiftly and safely emerges. Unexpectedly, the wheels around the elevator car malfunction as Wasprin and five others go rocketing downward. Wasprin instinctively shot out his right hand to grab the frame of the elevator door to the lobby. He then tried to plant his right leg onto the lobby floor, but was immediately overpowered by the collapsing block of steel. Sam Wasprin had moved from Milwaukee to settle down in New York City, where he worked in software sales for six years before his untimely death. First responders pronounced Wasprin dead at the scene. An autopsy results revealed Sam Wasprin was asphyxiated to death and suffered extensive injuries to his neck and chest, ultimately dying from the crushing blunt force trauma to his neck and torso via mechanical asphyxiation. Residents say that they had grown accustomed to the problematic elevators at the Manhattan Promenade where monthly rent for a one-bedroom apartment starts around $3,700. One resident said that the elevators are always jumping between floors and compared the elevator rise to something out of a horror movie. And another resident added, it's sadly not shocking that it wasn't addressed sooner. A life could have been saved. And it shouldn't have to take someone to die to have a management company realize that there's an issue with our elevators. Wasprin's father agrees, saying that the elevators were always in disarray and that the least the building could do is provide safety for the residents. <laughs> 